So what if you have an array and you want to make sure that at least one item of that array fits a certain criteria, some kind of condition? That is where the dot sum method comes in. If I wanted to check that at least one number in this array is over five, what I could do is I could write nums dot sum and sum expects a callback as its argument. This callback function takes in three arguments, first being the item, so in this case, a number, Whatever your items of the array are, that is what this argument will be in this sum method. The next argument is index. Index being the array index that you're currently in in that iteration. So for this first index, it'll be zero, one, two, so on. Next is the array. It's a direct reference to the array that you're pass or that you're executing the dot sum method on. So in this case, I'm not actually going to be using these two arguments here. So I'm just going to delete those. But in this, I just want to make sure that at least one number is over five. This is based, this arrow function is basically returning a true or false if this number is over five. And if I was to log this out, nums.sum with this condition would return false because I don't have any items in this array that are over five. But if I was to add a six here, this false would be a true. Dot sum only cares if one item of the array fits that criteria. If zero fit, it's gonna be false. If at least one fits, it's gonna be true. That is the dot sum method. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you and check out my other videos. I've got more JavaScript uh, methods here. Until next time though, have a good one. Peace.